Well, hello and welcome. This is Nate. I got this really nice 1600 square foot home. This is a three bedroom, two bath with a den or an office, however you would like to use it as. I personally would use it as an office. Here at Valley Quality Homes in Spokane, Washington, they are their own manufacturer. All their homes are fully customizable, so they can make the home however you want it. If you need to make this home a little bit bigger, you can. If you need to make it a little bit smaller, you can. If you need to change the layout of it a little bit, you can. Just talk to them, figure out how you want to design the home. We got a back door over here. We got your transom window that's going to be in your bathroom or your guest bathroom there. Let's uh, head on in. I said, um, I know y'all are going to like this home, especially the price. For the size of the home, it's got a really good price. All their homes are really well priced. Not sponsored by them, but just saying that's why their prices are a little bit less than some of the other guys. So let's head on in. Okay, so as we come in, we've got this little bit of an entranceway here with a closet door. Of course, you got behind the closet door is your closet. I don't know why I said behind closet door or whatever, but. So nice little entranceway there. Now let's swing around. We've got great big living room. As you can tell, the light's not on. There is a lot of light coming in here. Great big bay windows, triple tray in the ceiling. It's a really nice looking ceiling, of course, with the fan and all that, but overall you've got a nice big living room area. Since we're looking at it, let's come in here. This is the flex space that can either be a small den, theater room. This would make a perfect office. I know there's a lot of you guys still working from home. If you need an office, instead of having to work in the living room or wherever it is you're working out of, this makes a perfect little office space for you. And off of the flex space and living room is your dining room area. A nice little light fixture above you there. Sliding glass doors. Big dining room area here. That is your master bedroom over there. Seating for at least two at the bar. Take a shot of milk. Corner shelving there. I forgot to mention we got a nook back there, a breakfast nook. A window above your sink. These are the white GE appliances. Now these are just the basic appliance package that they put in all their homes just for show. Obviously you can upgrade the appliances to stainless steel. Heck, I've even seen appliances that blend in with the cabinetry. So you could go that far if you wanted to. 
some low fat yogurt. Of course, I don't think it's going to be any good sitting in the in a cabinet. Probably going to be a little on the rotten side. Overall, decent amount of cabinet space. We got this great big cabinet up here. So one thing I have noticed is that a lot of their cabinets will have one big door and one smaller door. Nice to see a stack of drawers by the stove. And here is that little breakfast nook. Now this breakfast nook leads back into your utility room. Full-size washer and dryer hookups. Of course you've got, there's your seam of your two halves coming together. You've got plenty of room right here for your stand-up freezer or small chest freezer. And I've said it in just about every video. These guys always think of the freezer. They give you a space to put the freezer. A lot of times there's no space for your freezer and y'all are like, hey, I need freezer space. Well, these guys take care of that for you. Electrical panel, water heater, furnace. I think it's a nice touch. I would like to see a lot of more dealers or manufacturers thinking of where are we gonna put the, the freezer? Because I need a spot for my freezer. <laughs> So when I'm filming home, sometimes that's what I'm thinking too. Like, where is the freezer going to go? All right, enough rambling. Let's get on with the tour. Kids bathroom, guest bathroom. There's that transom window I was pointing out on the backside with your shower tub combo. One piece, all fiberglass. And I lost my train of thought trying to play game show host. <laughs> stack of drawers right here. How about a medicine cabinet? Hello, Raiden. Your dad's losing it. And if I open the right side, we can show you the linen closet. That's not a closet door, but you've got plenty of space in there for your linens. Bedroom number two, or bedroom number one, but of course the floor plan, I think this is bedroom number two. And that closet is gonna be the full length you see right there. As I'm going through, bedroom number two, just about the same size as the other one. In fact, I would be willing to bet, because I didn't look at measurements, but if I was a betting man, I'd say this is the same size. All right, let's do the master bedroom. Now I know you've seen the door for it already a couple times. I even pointed it out. Master bedroom is slightly off your living room, slightly off your kitchen and your dining room. But at least no matter where you're at, you're not looking directly into the master bedroom. This is a nice size bedroom here. In your bathroom, but we gotta look at the closet first, so. Closet runs from one end of the wall to the other. Of course, 
wall to wall, but that's beside the point. <laughs> when I say wall to wall, I mean wall to wall. Now for the bathroom. So here is your dual vanity. Great big mirror. It's gonna, you got those lights up above you. Nice set of lights there. Cabinets back behind you, along with your toilet area. Now you can option in the longer tub, you would lose the shower. You can option in the bigger shower, you lose the tub. So if you want both, I believe that is the only option you have for this bathroom. But you, at least you have your separate tub and shower. And with that, each one of you should leave a separate comment down below. Let me know, what do you think? Do you like the layout of the home? What would you use this flex space for? How about that breakfast nook down there? What do you think? What would you use that for? Would you make that just your straight dining room or would you use that as just a little sitting area? Leave me a comment down below and while you're there, make sure that subscription button is gray. If it ain't, you know what you gotta do, right? And then hit that notification bell. That way you know when I upload on Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. Well, welcome back to the Nate Show. Hope you enjoyed that video. We got a lot to talk about. Not, not really. I suck at being a game show host. That's why I don't do that stuff. <laughs> it took me a long time to even get comfortable in front of the camera. But anyway, we got to talk about some pricing on this home here. So this one is a 1,600 square foot home. Features a extra large living room. You get a den or an office, whichever you choose to use that flex space for. You got a dining room, you got a morning room. What more could you ask for? I know, an excellent price. That's right. This home at time of filming comes in at $180,000 for 1,600 square foot space with all that stuff we were just talking about. Yep, that's right. So anyway, I tell you what, I'm losing it. So uh, there, of course you gotta keep in mind there are different things that can affect the price such as City fees, county fees, location of delivery, you could have extra freight charges. You know, lumber could go up, driving the price up. Lumber could go down, driving the price down. We all like that, right? Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video and my little goofiness at the end here. But I will see you in the next one. Have a good evening. Bye.